Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor. So we're to the fifth step. And this is the final step. But you can always go back. You can go to the middle. You can go to the first. You can, you, sometimes you'll have to skip around in this, right? But the fifth step is evaluate. So you've admitted where you are. You've admitted your problems. You've identified the root cause. You've established your plan, your action plan, your written plan, what you're going to do about it, and you've started implementing that. Uh, depending on how uh, you know far along you are in the process, will determine how you know many of those you've been able to implement. But hopefully, you've started that process. So now, the last thing that you do is you evaluate. You evaluate your results. You know how are things going? Are you seeing the results that you want? Are you starting to see anything change in your life? Well, I'm going to be, you know, kind of brutally honest here and just ask, have you started actually implementing it? Have you really dug in and made a, uh, you know, a really conscious effort to do it? Or have you just been like, oh, okay, I'll try this. And you're just, you kind of, you know, doing a little bit of it, but not really. Well, obviously, if you're just doing a little bit of it, then you're going to get a little bit of the results. And what might happen if you're just doing a little bit of it, you could just irritate those that you're doing that to for just trying to do something. Now the problem's worse. So you have to be careful there. If you're going to implement this, if you're going to do this, you got to do it. You got to commit to it. You got to have the heart and the mind. You got to have the attitude. You got to have the desire to want to change. So if you're not implementing, then stop delaying. Stop denying. Go back through the process, read everything, uh, look at things, and decide how bad do you want for your life to change. Maybe you haven't hit rock bottom yet. Maybe the pain and misery is not bad enough. Well, when it does, then come back to this and, and start doing it. But if you've started doing it, you've started implementing, you're really desperately you have a desire to change, what type of changes are you seeing? Do you like the results that you're seeing? Are they coming along fast enough for you or do you feel that they're too slow? So if you aren't seeing the changes that you want to see or they're not coming fast enough, then what you need to do is sit down and analyze. Write down. I, I like to write things down. Write down what's not working. What's not going right? Go back to your written plan and then look at maybe why. Uh, you might have to then sit down and discuss this with others. What do you think about this? You know, I've been trying this because what's happened is, is somewhere in your analysis, in your, in your writing things down, um, you might have missed the root cause. You might have missed all of the root cause or the way you're implementing it, maybe the way you're saying things. Maybe your timing's off. Something's not just right there. So you got to just evaluate that. And so then as you do that, you start to amend your plan. This works. Do more of this. This didn't have the result that I thought, so maybe try it one more time. If it doesn't you know, get a good result again, then stop doing it. Or you know, put it away, shelve it for a, a time period, and maybe bring it back out. You get the point. You, you test you try. Then you see how it works. If it works, you continue to use it. If it doesn't, you modify it. After modification, if it doesn't work, you, you get rid of it for a while. If you bring it back, if it doesn't work, you get rid of it totally. And then you just start trying new things, different ways to get the results that you want. If you're seeing results, <clears throat> you're like, this is great. This is going along just the way I want it to. Then continue to do that. Having been to physical therapy over the years for neck issues and nerve issues that I've had, and after having neck surgery, uh, spine surgery, um, the thing that happens in our lives, whether it be physical or mental, is when the pain stops, we normally stop doing what helped us get out of pain. So stretching helps my neck. Well, my neck feels better. Guess what I forget to do? Stretch. When do I stretch? When it starts hurting again. So you got to be mindful that if you're doing something, 
you're spending more time with your spouse and you see that this is producing the things that you want it to, you don't get lazy. Don't fall off. Because when you do, what will happen? The relationship will start to, to have cracks in it again. So commit daily to doing this. If you see yourself slipping, go back to doing what you've been doing. Ultimately, remember, this isn't rocket science. This isn't a, a complicated formula. <clears throat> this isn't a, a diet plan that you have to go buy 50 types of different greens and spices to, to cook it with. This is just life. Time is going to pass. And it's really quite simple when you put it down on paper. The hard part becomes you. The hard part for me is me. When I look back over my life, in the center of all my conflict, in the center of everything I had going on, there was one common denominator in all of it for me, and that was me. As I started to change, those things started to change. Some of them changed because I got away from them. Some of them changed because I stopped doing it. Some of them changed because I changed the, the dynamic of the relationship, and over time, the relationship changed. So just remember the biggest factor in all of this is you. You hold your ability to change your life. No one else does really. There are things that can come into your life that can change you. But if you have the mindset, if you have the will and the, and the desire, you can modify, you can change who you are. Just remember... Consider this the kind of the warning of all of this. Once you start doing this, and I just said it a minute ago, once you start doing this, don't stop. And if you stop, try to catch yourself and try to go back to doing what you're doing. Because if you lax off, if you stop paying attention and you start developing some of those old habits again, the bad habits, what's going to happen? You'll go right back to that. You go back to the misery and the pain and the things that you have worked so hard to get away from. So as we wrap this up, as we go through, as we look back over, just continue to always admit your problems because new ones are going to come up. Life changes, people around you change, health changes, financials changes. All these things can come in, so just Continue to use this process in your life. Use it to get out of where you currently are and then use it to stay out of going back to where you've been. So you admit your problem, you identify the root cause, you establish the plan, you implement it, and then you constantly evaluate it and change it as needed. Remember, if you need any of this information at any time, go to nathantabor.com slash law of order. And I hope if you have someone in your life a spouse, a friend, a church member, uh, somebody you work with, somebody that you, you know from your childhood, maybe if he, even some social media friends. Go to them and, and tell them how you've changed. Share your story with others. Encourage others through your story to change their story. There's no reason to live this life in a miserable fashion especially as an evangelical Christian, as someone who is saved, who believes in Jesus Christ and believes in God. You know, James talks about finding joy in all circumstances. He doesn't say find joy in the circumstance. He says find joy in all circumstances. Well, that circumstance is that when I die or Jesus comes back, I'm going to heaven. So while I might not like the circumstance I'm in right now, I might not like the life Today, my joy is in, this is not going to last forever. It could last the rest of my lifetime, but when I die, or Jesus comes back before I die, it, that circumstance is gone. There will be no pain and suffering where I'm going. So if you're a Christian, I want to encourage you, we as Christians, we're called to show the love of Christ to others and to share the gospel with others. It was kind of hard to show the love of Christ to someone if you're not in a good mental state, right? If you're bitter, if you're miserable, if you feel like life has, you know, burdened you down, it's kind of hard to show love to others. 
If you're not saved or you don't know where you stand with God, I encourage you to really in, to look into this, to investigate it. If you've got questions, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer what I can. I don't have all the questions. I mean, I don't have all, I got a lot of questions, but I don't have all the answers. Um, but if I can't answer something, I will find somebody who can answer your question. I appreciate you all taking the time uh, to go through this process with me. Again, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And you can find all these materials at nathantabor.com slash lawoforder.